in the quest to put a yardstick across the universe, the moon is our first measure. The moon is our only natural satellite. It's a quarter million miles away, and its light takes only a second to reach us. The Earth is one of nine planets that orbit the Sun. The Sun is 93 million miles away, and its light takes over eight minutes to reach us. From the outer planets, the Sun is just a brilliant star. Neptune is three billion miles from its warmth. Sunlight takes four and a half hours to arrive here. Beyond the planets are the stars, but to the naked eye, they look the same, two-dimensional. Now, thanks to astronomy, we know much of their nature and their distance. Among these stars, if you don't count the sun, is our nearest star, Alpha Centauri. It's the big one to the left. Alpha Centauri is 25 trillion miles from Earth. Alpha Centauri is more than one star. Indeed, it's more than two. It's a triplet. Their light takes almost four and a third years to reach us. Or, as astronomers would put it, Alpha Centauri is 4.3 light years from Earth. Out here, at such a distance, the sun is a dot, a modest star visible to the naked eye. Onward and outward, and some 200 light years from home, the stars of W Ursa Majoris, twins that exchange material. farther and through the stars of Orion. From Earth, they're a two-dimensional pattern. Out here, we realize they lie at different distances. They have depth. We've reached 1,500 light years and the heart of the constellation, the Orion Nebula. It's a great cloud of dust and hydrogen, a cocoon of gestation, a place where stars are born. If we kept traveling onward at the speed of light, it would take another 30,000 years to reach the center of our galaxy. Instead, we leave it. We journey to a vantage point outside, where we look back at our galaxy, a spiral of 200 billion stars, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is so big that for light to travel from one side to the other takes 100,000 years. The Milky Way is big. A beam traveling at the speed of light at 186,000 miles a second takes 100,000 years to cross our galaxy. At the same speed, a journey through our solar system is a matter of hours. How do astronomers know all this? How did they learn to measure the universe? 
The story begins over 2,000 years ago in Egypt. It involves basic geometry, calculations familiar to temple builders. It gave the world the first unit of astronomical measurement, a unit as big as the world. The reflection of the sun shining directly down a well in Aswan. 500 miles to the north, in Alexandria, a column cast a shadow. It was noon in both places, so why the difference? According to legend, a librarian called Eratosthenes realized it was due to the curvature of the earth. When the sun was directly overhead in Aswan, it was at an angle in Alexandria. That caused the shadow. The difference in angle was a 50th of a circle, so the distance between Aswan and Alexandria must also be a 50th of something, a 50th of the circumference of the earth. That's geometry. And that was Eratosthenes' reasoning. He was right. The Earth's circumference is about 25,000 miles. 200 BC, and it was known that Earth was an orb in space. Where it lay in space was tougher. <laughs> 